Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new then welcome. My name is Kirsten and I'm a mum of one to this little girl here. Her name is Madison. Say hi. Are you waving? Say hi. So recently, and by recently I mean today, Madison had her first day at daycare. So I thought in this video I would show you what is in Madison's daycare bag. I want to show them what's in your bag. So you have this. And I'll show you them. So this is Madison's daycare bag. It is pink. It is a triple pocket bag. It has Madison and a little cat on the front. This bag is from Bright Stars. I also have the matching bag tag, which has her full name, Madison Whitney. So this is the bag that we got for daycare. It's pretty big. I really like it. It feels really sturdy, really good quality. So I thought I would show you what is in it. I'm kind of doing this one-handed, mainly because Madison is sitting on my lap with me. So I will start off with, in the side pocket, we have Madison's water bottle. We use a newbie one at the moment, and it just has a Madison sticker on it. We will probably move to this one eventually, but she's still learning how to use this. So I figured we would just use this one for the time being, and that just has water and it sits in the side pocket. So we pretty much keep everything in the back pocket because that's the biggest pocket. So I will just get out what we have in there. And I'm just gonna do it to the side because like I said, I have Madison on my lap with me. So the back pocket is a double zip pocket, which is quite handy. So starting off, we have Madison's bucket hat, which looks like it's got something on it. So I might have to give it a wash. Um, just has a little chin strap and it has her name on the inside because when you send them to daycare, they have to have everything labeled. So I'm still getting into the process of labeling a lot of things. I think I'm going to order some labels. If you know any good companies that do clothing labels, let me know down in the comments. I then have two pairs of shorts for Madison because it is summer at the moment. So two pairs of shorts. The daycare that we send Madison to, they pretty much change them after most meals, I think, or most major meals. And obviously when they do messy activities and things like that, yeah. So Madison has a few changes of clothes. Hey. Madison has a few changes of clothes in there, like a few t-shirts. She also has her nappies. And the daycare that we go to, they require you to write their name on the nappies. So these all have Madison written on them. And then we have t-shirts. We also have, I also have bibs in here. So the daycare that we go to, don't use bibs. They just don't, they have lots of babies. It's too hard to get bibs on all of them and take them off. So they don't really use them, but I do use this bag for times other than daycare. And I also use it like when she goes to stay with like my mum or my mother-in-law. So that's why there's bibs in there. So we've got some bibs. We also have a packet of wipes. These are the Huggies uh, with coconut oil. And these also have Madison's name on them. You wanna hold those? You gonna hold those? No? You wanna hold the bib instead? So that's what we have in the back pocket. And then in the front pocket, I just have the Baby Mum Mum Rusks. And that's mainly because if we have to go somewhere straight after daycare, which I found out today, it's always good to have a snack for Madison. So that was handy. I also have a spoon just in case we're going somewhere and they don't have appropriate cutlery or serving ware for a baby. And then her daycare dummy. When I say daycare dummy, it's just the dummy that she used today. Um, and I've just put it, I washed it and put it back in her bag and she's going to use it now and swap dummies, aren't you? So Madison was being weaned off a dummy to an extent. We aren't weaning her off fully until we go on holiday in April, but the whole separation from me to daycare has been quite upsetting. So we've been letting her use the dummy a little bit more because Reese, up until we started the daycare transition, Madison pretty much only used dummies for sleep. 
but now she's sort of using them a bit throughout the day. She's going through a bit of separation anxiety, which is all totally normal for a child her age, and especially because she has been used to having me around constantly for the last 12 months. It is quite a shock for her, but she's doing really, really well. So that's everything that's in our daycare bag. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's something I sh am missing in my daycare bag. I'm pretty new to the whole daycare, taking my child to daycare kind of thing. We've pretty much done a few orientation visits and today was our very first day. So that's all that's in there. Oh, and fruit, which we have pears for tomorrow and obviously fruit for our uh, fruit bowl. But yes, if there's something I've missed and you send your kids to daycare and you think I should put it in there, leave a comment down below. But that's it for today's video. I know it was a really quick one, but it's been a full on day going to daycare, hasn't it, Bubba? So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new around here, we'd love to have you stick around and join our little family. So make sure you are subscribed. And if you don't want to miss out on when I upload a video, if you can hear me over the rustling of those wet wipes and my child, uh, make sure you hit the bell next to the subscribe button. But hopefully we will see everyone in our next one. Hey, Bob. Hopefully I'll see you in my next one, guys. Bye, guys. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.